What's up everybody, Nick Farabaugh here, Steelers Rewind. Let's talk injuries today. Some good news for the Steelers. Let's go with the bad news first, just get out of the way. No Nick Herbig, no DeMarvin Leal, no DeMonte KZ, no Alex Highsmith. Those four guys will all be out. Highsmith did have his second straight limited practice. Seems like he's gonna play next week. So good news within the bad news, we shall see. But the good news, is really good news, and it sounds like running back Jalen Warren has a real chance to play this week. You know, he was listed as doubtful by Mike Tomlin among those Tuesday guys. Um, you know, like Cordero Patterson is out, right? He didn't practice all week. Um, but he was listed, you know, with Michael Pruitt and DeMonte Casey, these guys that were doubtful. Well, it sure seems like he has a chance to play. He's going to be listed as questionable, but he had a full practice today. And on top of that, he looks really good. He looks spry. He's cutting, he's jumping, he's sprinting. He looks fine to me. Mike Tomlin said he's on the upswing and they're really optimistic. Jalen Warren sounded optimistic. It sounds like he's going to play this week. And so that would be a huge boost, obviously, to Pittsburgh's offense. They need all the help they can get. So getting Jalen Warren back would be really important for them. Take some of the load off Najee Harris and get a different look out there. Russell Wilson is officially back. He will be the QB2 this week while well, he shakes the rust off. That's Mike Tomlin's words, shaking the rust off. Uh, so he will play as the QB2. So if Justin Fields is hurt, they will turn to Russell Wilson. But Justin Fields will get the start this week. Not a surprise. Again, if you uh, followed this all week, I said that probably would wind up being that way. He would probably be the QB2 while Justin Fields would start. That's for this week. We'll see. This is a big-time audition for Justin Fields and what he can do with this opportunity. He needs to bounce back from last week. Meanwhile, Pat Frymuth popped up with that calf injury yesterday on the injury report. He was limited. He was full go today. And there's no problems. He's going to play. Don't worry about Pat Frymuth uh, and his availability either. So some pretty promising injury news for the Steelers. We'll see. Um, the edge rusher rotation, Isaiah Loudermilk basically told me, you know, they've been talking about him on the edge all week, but basically told me he would be a, you know, break the glass and emergency type of guy. So they're probably going to bring up Ade Ogundeji, and maybe they'll bring up uh, Eku Liotta as well, but definitely Ade Ogundeji. The fact that Warren is likely to be active means they don't have to bring up Jonathan Ward, so there will be that second uh, that will be that second practice hot spot that will be free, so they can maybe bring up two of those guys. If you do the math of who will be active and inactive, there are probably going to be at least six guys that are hurt that are going to be naturally inactive. You have two practice squad elevations. Naturally, through that, folks, you are going to have one inactive on the roster, and probably ain't going to be Roman Wolfson. It's probably going to be that ninth offensive lineman. So in other words, I think everybody's going to get your wish. I think Roman Wilson is going to play his first game this week. Whether we actually see him play, that's a different story, but he will be active and I think be in helmet. So there's always the possibility we will see. Folks, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on the notification bell for more, and check out CEO's Breakdown.